This is how you play the song Masquerade. Uh, I like to show beginning guitar players this song because it has, uh, it's very easy to play. It's actually something that beginners can pick up pretty quickly, but it also has some nice challenges in there for beginners. And then it even has challenges for people who are intermediate guitar players uh, because there are some techniques that are a little bizarre <laughs> and unusual. Um, but this is how the uh, verse goes. And then I'm gonna, I'll play basically from uh, the verse into the chorus and then I'll stop, uh, slow it down, kind of describe what I'm doing. And also in the description of this video, you will find a link to the song which you can download or stream for free on my website. Uh, there will also be the chords, the sheet music for the chords, if you want to uh, follow that link and be able to see actually the notes that you play uh, to play this song. And here it is, this is Masquerade. So each of the chords that I'm playing uses only two fingers. Uh, it's one of the things that makes the song so easy to play. Uh, you don't have a lot of really crazy chords where you're you know, using a lot of fingers. So the first chord is just index finger and second finger on the second fret of the A string and D string. And you want to play the open E along with that. So all three or excuse me, all six strings are being strummed for that chord. The next chord um, is played on the A string fifth fret and the D string fourth fret. And in that one you're playing just five strings, so you're not including the E string. And then that chord slides down to third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string. And again, it's a five note or five string uh, chord there. Then it goes to the fifth fret A string and the seventh fret D string. And slides up to the seventh fret A string and ninth fret D string. And the last time that the chorus is played, or I'm sorry, the verse, the last time the verse is played before it goes into the chorus, uh, that note slides up to the 8th fret A on the A string and the 10th fret on the D string. And then it goes into the chorus, which is playing with the open E and also 5th fret, I'm sorry, 7th fret on the A string and ninth fret on the D string. And then the second chord that's played in the chorus is the D string, it starts with the open A on this chord and then plays the D string on the seventh fret and the G string on the uh, fifth fret. So. So that's really uh, all there is to the entire song. Uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, it sounds uh, like you know a complete song, even though the guitar is very simple. The bass guitar does a lot in that song, which helps to kind of fill it out and make it sound like a more robust tune. Um, but the guitar part itself is pretty simple and easy to play. Now, if you're a beginning guitar player, um, you may it may be difficult for you not to play the E string on those chords where the E string is not supposed to be played. Um, you know, it takes a while to get to where you can play chords smoothly without, you know, and, and hitting every string you intend to hit and not hitting strings that you don't intend to hit. One technique that you can employ 
is to wrap your thumb around the neck of the guitar and use that to mute the E string. So as I go play the first chord of the verse into the second chord, I wrap my thumb around the neck of the guitar and that way if I do happen to hit the E string, I, it doesn't ring out with a solid note, it's, it's just muted and pretty much silent. The other challenge for beginning guitar players may be the palm mutes that are used in this song. And when I say palm mute, I mean that you rest the palm, or the, the uh, side of the palm of your hand, on the strings down by the bridge so that when you strum the notes, you get a muted tone from them rather than a ringing note. So. Um, You'll hear as I play that song, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play it again, uh, both the verse and the chorus, slowly, and you can hear really clearly where the strings are muted and uh, when they ring out. So it goes like this. That's it played slowly. Um, there is a little bit more to the riff that I've kind of left out. Uh, it's something also, if, as, you, uh, as your skills develop, you can include it in the song, and it's a, a little kind of arpeggio that occurs in the chorus of the song. So it actually is played like this. Okay, so the first arpeggio that comes in, uh, it uses the same chords as the rest of the chorus. So nothing really changes there as far as your fingering on the left hand. Uh, but now for that arpeggio, you pick starting with the B string. Just pick up the next four strings. Start at B and pick up. Uh, and then the second time through, it starts on the E string, the high E, and then picks up for the next four strings. So that's all it is, very, very simple, but uh, as your skills develop, if you can throw that in, it does make the, that chorus sound a lot nicer. In the outro of the song, that's where uh, some of the picking gets a little bit different, and I, and I change it up a lot as um, it kind of meanders through some different things there. So one of the things that I think would be an intermediate level uh, technique in that song is in the outro, uh, there's a kind of an odd picking arrangement that I throw in there, and what it is is a down, a downward muted stroke and then an upward ringing stroke. So I'll see if I can remember how exactly how I played it. It's, uh, So, 
it's uh, slow, it would go like this. So if uh, that technique is difficult for you at first, you can of course just kind of repeat a single chord and just repeat that, that technique over and over again. Until it gets smooth. And again, it's just a downward stroke that's muted, followed by a very quick upward stroke that's not muted. So. And that's really the almost the entire song for the guitar. There's a, a one other kind of strange riff that goes in there, but um, you know if you just want to pick up a, something to play, uh, this is a very easy one to learn, and it will allow you to develop your skills. Now, if you're a beginner, you can play the song uh, by not muting the E string. It actually sounds fine. And you can also leave the palm mutes out if those are tricky uh, for you in the beginning. Uh, you can play the thing with the song with all of the strings uh, just ringing out, and it will sound fine to do that. So it'll sound something like this. So if you are just starting out playing guitar, you may want to start just playing it that way. Don't bother muting the, you know, throwing in the palm mutes and don't bother muting the E string. The song will sound fine. And then as you get fluid playing it that way, you can start to incorporate some of those more um, advanced beginner techniques and, um, event, and then eventually transition into some of the intermediate techniques that are in that song.